Uh, let's get back downstairs. Here is Dina. Uh, it's not only myself, Kev, but it's also Brad and his two secret weapons. We know that bikini season is fast approaching. If you want to look like Bradley, these are his trainers. <laughs> Working out using your own body weight is essential. There's a brand new trend. It's called Primal Fitness. It's the emerging trend in fitness. And Fuel Training Club founder Greg Hetherington is here to get us started. Good morning, Greg. Good morning, Dina. And Jamie, you guys both work with Brad. We do, yeah. A ton. It's, it's, a, it's a tough challenge to uh, overcome <laughs> here, but he's doing quite well. He always makes us laugh, but you say he is serious. He's a he good is serious. Yeah, it's a good mix. It's absolutely a good mix. So, so what is primal fitness? It's using your own body weight. Using your own body weight, we're basically taking movements that your body was meant to do, and we're going to put that into an exercise format. Format. Okay. It has become popular, but we want to show how you can simply use your body, but it's going to build up to more advanced exercises as we go and through. And look here. at Jamie. My gosh, her muscle tone is everywhere. So clearly, this thing is working. <laughs> if do you have to be advanced to even do something like this? No, no, not at all. Again, this is why it's great to have Brad on here because he's going to demonstrate what the easier exercise. Exercises and, uh, <laughs> but no, it's it's really it's going to build up. So you can do easier exercises and then you can make them more difficult. So it's like a, a crawl. What is it, this? That's exactly what it is. It's a leopard crawl. So Jamie, whose nickname happens to be Leopard because she makes <laughs> these look so easy, she does. Okay, is going to help out Brad here because it actually is quite a difficult exercise. And you know, just going back and forth is going to bring up your heart rate. It's also going to get your shoulders and your legs involved. So it's a great way to warm up, but it's actually a great exercise to use too. So you're a believer in warming up, and do you think? people do too much cardio or are you a bigger believer doing things like this? Well, I mean, if, if you're going to exercise at all, it's better than doing nothing. So yeah. what we want to look at is doing something that's very efficient, good use of time, it's going to give you the best results. So right now we're going to get them through a quick workout and we want to see them do a couple movements right now. So Brad, Jamie's going to help out here. I could do this one. Yeah, this one. So we see a little bit of a round back in Brad here. Okay. Jamie's got a nice straight back when she goes through here. So we just want to make sure the shoulders stay back. We want to hinge through the hips. Okay, when we hinge see this, through hinge through the hips, exactly. It's good even for bad knees. You hinge through the hips as you go through here. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna transfer this over to the actual kettlebell. So we've oh. got the lighter weight here, we got for Brad. Oh, this, I see how this, this is going to go here. <laughs> so we're going to get into what's called a kettlebell swing. So we're basically taking these movements, we're now adding some resistance to them. Okay, Jamie's okay. going to have this kettlebell in front of her. How come gonna... Jamie's is bigger than Brad's? <laughs> Just saying, Brad. More experienced than Brad. Okay, fair well, enough. He's good. He's safety first. Safety first, exactly. Okay, so Jamie's going to demonstrate a couple <laughs> swings here, then Brad is going to emulate that as well. So what we're oh. looking here, extending through the hips, getting those shoulders back, okay, and here comes Brad. All right, so we want to make those hips come right through. Squeeze. There you go. And you can see where the power is coming through. It's all through the hips right now. I like that noise Jamie makes. That's the breathing is definitely well, it's, more advanced. It's better than mine. I used yeah. to. Yeah. And good. Good. <laughs> and he does do this occasionally. It gets our attention. It gets a little okay. annoying. Good. That's Let's proud. get that back down. There. So how many of those do you do? Well, you know, we put, we're going to, for time, we're going to get them for about 30 seconds. And then wow. the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to get them on their backs here. We're going to go into a core exercise okay. called a hollow rock. Okay. So while they're lying on their back, we want to get into a hollow position. Jamie's going to demonstrate this with their arms overhead and just rocking back and forth. So really you're engaging the core the whole way. But what's great about this exercise is it's transferable to everything else you do. So it's the same position you want to be when you're in a pull up, if you're in a push up, it's like you're doing a plank on your back. Okay, really? But by adding this dynamic exercise here, keep going, Brad. Oh, this looks like yeah. it would hurt the back, no? No, we keep it no. up. Well, that's what we want to try and protect here is keeping those shoulders up. Good. Brad, that hurts, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man. Good, and relax. And then what we do is we go back to those swings and we're going to alternate through oh, those. We're gonna, so, oh, yeah, nice. now we're going to get now we're going to get some of the breathing okay. techniques. You watch it back there. Okay, okay. So we're going to get through because we don't have a time here. You're going to go 15 swings, 15 hollow rocks. Okay, we're going to get ready, you guys, guys going. Let's see it. Let's see so. it. There you go. Make it a little bit of a race, but quality first. Get those hips forward. How often do we do this a week? So what we say, three times a week. It doesn't have to be this exact exercise, but if you're doing inten high intensity awesome. intervals, this is what this is here. Uh, these primal movements as well. If you're doing a minimum three times a week, that's good. And we say minimum, that's good for someone who hasn't been okay. doing a lot, but then you can increase that to four or five times a week. And how long is each session typically? These ones we do. I mean, right now this this workout is only going to be a couple minutes, and this will get your heart rate up. We'll get them sweating a little bit too. Uh, but really, if you spend 15 minutes doing something like this three times a week that's going to be enough to increase your level of fitness as your level of fitness increases you want to then increase that time and the difficulty okay and to so be honest for, yeah you can tell another breath even after that oh yeah it's hard <laughs> what, what greg does is he simplifies everything for you and jamie kicks everyone's butt oh yeah she's, so it's a great in phenomenal shape it's guys. a great dynamic and you and for guys like me that have always had trouble with their core region it's the first Tightens thing it. that they focus on 
And so you help people with injuries as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's, there's a progression regression for every movement. So if someone's got an injury and they've got a knee injury, we don't want them to be doing a lot of jumping, right? Okay. So as we do this, then we look back. This is a great exercise for a knee injury because you're not really putting a lot of strain on the knee. And you just opened up a second location. We did, yes. Yeah. So you've got one on King West, FuelTrainingClub.ca at Fuel Train Club, and your other one is? Uh, King East, so we're Sherburne and Adelaide. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. They're going to keep doing that while we watch. Right now, over to Jen, it, who's gardening. Work. Lots of working out happening there, too. Good job, guys. Amazing. Woo! That's tough. Oh, yeah.